Hello, I'm on a small brook after sticklebacks. I'm working from home today. I do say that quite a lot, don't I, in regards to my fishing. I'm just getting set up there. Well, I say it a lot because it's what I do. It's about making the most of every opportunity. I'm sure many people see work as a means to an end, really, but when you think about it, you do spend a lot of hours, a lot of years of your life working. So if you can, you might as well enjoy it. And I'm sure that most jobs for people, as far as they're concerned, have pros and cons. One of my positives is that when I am at home, I have a lot of flexibility. Obviously when I'm not, it's slightly different because I'm away for a, a considerable amount of time. It could be a day, it could be three or four days. This morning, I got some stuff to do. I knew what I was doing today. And I got up early, did my stuff, sent off some emails. And while I'm awaiting the reply and to get more information, I decided to get out and do some fishing. It's about making the most of your time, working around your uh, schedule. My job sounds great in that sense, but on the other hand, I can often be working on emails at 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock, sometimes into midnight and beyond when there's stuff going on. Not everyone's cup of tea, but it suits me. Kids have grown up. Mortgage is paid off. My wife is very supportive. That's an important thing as well, of course. And I get to do lots of fishing, making the most of the little windows of opportunity that present themselves. And that's what I'm about to do right now as I cast into the brook. Straight away, the fish are onto the maggot. And that one, came off right down the side of where I'm sitting. Oh, and another one that was just beneath the surface of the water. You look down and you see these brooks and there's not much vegetation or cover in terms of where you're looking at. But you put your bait out and within seconds this horde of sticklebacks run to it. They are the masters of camouflage. And of course they need to be to survive. Caught a leaf. Don't think that counts though, does it? I'm fishing with a very simple setup. I've got a shot, size four shot, just to take the bait down, well, take the line down, give me a little bit of flicking weight as well and then the bait sinks naturally through the water. And I'm getting lots and lots of uh, small sticklebacks there. What I'm looking for really though is, uh, is something, uh, something bigger. Oh, another one just came off. They're, they're on there, they twist and turn, and then you get one. And it hasn't actually hooked properly. It, it would have done if I'd have let it develop, but it uh, took the maggot and then I just slipped that and the hook out. <laughs> there you go. A nice lively stickleback to get me underway. I've caught 15 fish so far. Every single cast, I'm getting uh, about 10, 12 of the fish around the maggot. They're attacking it and you have to keep an eye open. That's where this type of fishing's good. Oh, that's another one there, just came off down the side. That's where this type of fishing's good because it's very clear, shallow being a small brook. 
and you need to keep an eye on the bait itself because you don't want a, a fish to take the hook. You still have a disgorger as with any species that you go for when you're fishing with maggot in particular. But like an insurance policy, you hope that you don't have to use it, especially on fish of this size. I can, I can see them now. Oh, that one just uh, came off as I was lifting it from the water, and that's okay. I prefer that rather than leaving a, a fish to gorge the bait and swallow it. It's great fun, though, watching them around the around the maggot what i'm hoping for though is for um, a bullhead to put in an appearance i've been on this particular brook a few times i saw a bullhead on one occasion it wasn't interested in taking the bait and prior to that before i actually fished it i was walking by passing by and i actually saw what I, I'm pretty sure was a, a loach. It's another one there. They're, they're three spined uh, sticklebacks. I'm not sure if you can see there from the image on the screen, but they have got the three spines along the back of the fish. We also have nine and 15 spined in the UK. Although the latter is predominantly a, a saltwater, brackish water estuary fish. Very, very busy today though. The three spined stickleback Thirtieth fish of this very short session. Just prior to this, I actually landed two on the same hook. That would have been a nice photograph. But by the time I realised, one came off and I just got the other one on. Anyway, I've enjoyed this, a flying visit. But as I've said, it's all about making the most of the or chances to go fishing that come along our way and that's how I get so much uh, angling in during the course of the year. It's looking out for those little windows of opportunity as I've already mentioned and making the most of them when they come. Anyway, back home, back to work and on with the rest of the day. Fishing yourself, tight lines and I'll see you soon.